headlines. 48 hours general strike demanding unconditional release of five village volunteers enters its second day. Supporters seen blocking roads at many places. Normal life in state largely affected by general strike. Government offices, schools remain closed down. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to ICB English News. I'm Sarvada Kangabam. Let's see the news in detail. In the second day of the general strike, Bishnupur district continues to be filled with supporters of the strike who came out since early morning to restrict vehicular movements, burn tires on roads and blocked roads using various objects. Women came out to block Tirim Road in front of Bishnupur Forest Gate. Speaking to media, a woman protester said, the arrest of volunteers who came out to protect Maite villages and the territorial integrity of Manipur is a provocation to the Maite and demanded for immediate release of the arrested five volunteers. She also said the government must resign from its position if it is not incompetent to protect Manipur, while adding that acting out to civilians for its incompetence is an act of cowardice. She then warned of launching more intense agitation against the government if it fails to release the arrested volunteers at the earliest. <laughs> Narendra Modi matik zade, Chief Minister Biren matik zade, adui tarag noi pam roi tarok biro, adu ga akoi civil war roi na koi chatan biro, akoi kutte khulai pi biro, adu na adu ga beta tarag di, akoi khingbangam jaga di hai bawa pam ma pop, media thong do koi thamjari, adu ga si akoi na jang ni ba si akoi di, ga si dan le pi pao di, ga si isa manga si ek tarok pi pao da, tong da isa ma am pabam ta yaro, adu ga hoki chu isa manga tarok pi pao di, akan ba khong jan kaya, matang matang koi na akoi. Nupi, my rap, I be, my amna, Koi, Manipur, Leven, Nupi, Puna, a Koi, Jas, and Namaka, Lepi, Hibasimadi, a Koi, Media from the Tanja. Later, a team of Vishnupur police arrived at the spot and cleared out the road to enable free movement. The team further beefed up security to prevent unwanted incidents. Meanwhile, the second day of the 48 hours general strike has crippled normal life at the Valley region. Schools and other educational institutions were seen shut while examinations scheduled to be conducted by board today, too, were postponed. Fewer vehicles were seen flying on roads. Quaramat Market, too, remained deserted, and shops at Pangal Market, Pauna Market, and BT Road were seen closed. Passengers' vehicles, too, stayed off the road, and oil pumps were also shut. On other hand, police beefed up security measures to prevent unwanted incidents during the general strike. Numerous women of Singdamay area also came out at Singdamay Market to block roads in support of the 48 hours general strike. During the protest, essential services and movements were exempted from the restriction. The protesters, however, restricted five vehicles of rapid action forces from passing through and made them turn back. Scenes of restriction of movements in support of the general strike were also seen in front of MU gate. Crowds of general strike supporters of the area came out and blocked the roads. Essential services were exempted from the strike. Also demanding for immediate unconditional release of arrested five village volunteers, Maira Pai Bees of Bashikong took out a protest demonstration at Bashikong Mamanglikai Mangal Club today. The protest also demanded for removal of Assam rifles from state, withdrawal of Su, implementation of NRC in Manipur, safeguarding integrity of Manipur and also to drive out Chin Kuki Narko terrorist. Speaking to media, Ningombam Manitombi, a Mayrapai B member, intimated that while the conflict has caused adverse hardships, there is still no sign of resolving the crisis. She questioned how long people of the state will remain as refugees in their own state and added that they will support to any form of agitation launched by the people over the arrest of the village volunteers. Speaking 
Scenes of impact of the general strike were also seen at Ayangpali Road, Kurai Chingang Bamlekai and TB Tower Mamang area. A member of TB Tower Mamang Lekai Nupi Lub demanded for immediate release of five village volunteers who were arrested by police. She also demanded for removal of Assam rifles, implementation of NRC and protection of Manipur's integrity. <laughs> Manipur <laughs> Okram Chuthik Maira Paibi also supported the general strike and blocked the vehicular movements in their area. <laughs> Convener of Peace and Integrity Committee Kiam Gai Chingangkham Megachandra has appealed to all concerned not to obstruct the movement of essential services, media and medical while blocking roads supporting the general strike. He made the statement while recalling recent incidents where the Ban supporters denied movement of essential services. Many women were also seen blocking road at Kiam Gai Pal Ahanbi endorsing the general strike. Further speaking, Chingangkham Megachandra maintained that while the state government government turned blind eyes to the unlawful activities of cookies, the police has been arresting and assaulting Maitais, which is highly condemnable. He then asked if any action has been taken against the cookie MLAs and the ministers for their violation of the law. <laughs> 꺼이로워지는 <laughs> A woman protester demanded unconditional release of the five village volunteers. Manipur Sagana, Atubama Tamda Manipur says, Santi Lena in the Sigma Maratam, the Pan Bangamba, Yamna Tuna Kudaka Bibiu, Aikoina, Ozik Marasi at Paliba, Amani Haiduna, Ada Deli, the Satana, Mayam Punama, Mi Manga Mana Savati Momon Coxalaga, Lerang, as if how the Manipurasi, Tangu Leta Bama Purapagi, Kamin, Kamin, Amata Pirakaba, Aduba. Sedo Club Yaripok Bazaar 2 supported the general strike by blocking roads in and around Yaripok Market and various slogans were raised at the protest. On the other hand, Thawal Ketrilekai Apunwa Mairapai B prohibited vehicular movement at Ketrilekai of Thawal Yaripok Road supporting the general strike. Slogans were also raised demanding for immediate release of the five village volunteers, calling for Manipur police to stop arresting village volunteers and demanding the center to treat everyone as equal as Indian citizens. <laughs> Manipur 
Poiro Kongjing Awang Lekai Mera Pai B2 endorsed a general strike. Mera Pai B demanded unconditional release of the five village volunteers and sought attention of the government to bring back normalcy in Manipur. Manipur Bukanda Bayade, Haidunasat Kibaisa, announcing Pazin Kibado, Yamna Pende, Kandisha Lamate Yautana, Tadok Pirau, Karigumba, Tadok Tabatara Badi, Mama, we be singular Sidagi, and by Etan. Many women were also seen blocking vehicular movement at Tangkam Awanglekai. Quite <laughs> Endorsing the 48 hours general strike called to protest the arrest of five village volunteers and demanding their unconditional release, many agitators were seen blocking roads at Leiden Pat, Bamon Kampu, and Kongman Mangzil along Infalyari Port Road. Commuters, except essential services, were not allowed to pass the roads. The agitators also demanded release of the five volunteers at the earliest. Kairen Pabi Apunba Imal Loop of Vishnupur District 2 supported the general strike by blocking Moirang Kumbi Road. The women folk urged the authority to release the five volunteers unconditionally, otherwise warned that the mothers will launch intense stir. They also strongly condemned the action of the state force. Large number of agitators was also seen restricting vehicular movement along the dim roads. Extended essential items to the relief camp opened at Fubala. The members of the committee also interacted with volunteers who are running the relief center. One of the members of Malom Tulidyaima Peace Committee Women's, Women's Wing sought immediate attention of the state government to end the conflict sooner and make arrangement of safe return of the displaced people. <laughs> Well, as part of Ayushman Bhava campaign, one day voluntary blood donation camp was organized by State Blood Cell SHS, National Health Mission Manipur, Directorate of Health Services, and SBTC Manipur under Seva Pakwada Ragdan Mahadan at the conference hall of Old Secretariat. Chief Secretary of Manipur, Dr. Binit Joshi, and other officials donated blood at the camp. Speaking on the occasion, Dr. Binit Joshi highlighted the objective of the voluntary blood donation camp. On the occasion of uh, Seva Pakhwada, which began on uh, 17 September. Today, uh, we have called all the volunteers who would like to donate their blood for the greater cause of uh, humanity. And this is in line with the call given by the Honorable Prime Minister Modi to uh, uh, generate awareness in the young population about blood donation so that everybody is able to contribute towards the society, the cause of Vasudev Kutumbakam, that the entire globe is our world. It is in that direction that all of us have gathered here today and along with the entire country, the state of Manipur is also participating in this. 
A ritual ceremony was organized by Ima Kalika Thaugalup Wabagai at Wabagai Tera Urak in Kakching district, where offerings were made to the souls of the mighty martyrs who have laid their lives while protecting the motherland and praying for safety of the village volunteers who have been guarding mighty village. Large number of people made offerings at Sengmai River praying for the souls of the martyrs. Later, a meeting was held in presence of social activist Brinda Thaunaujam and Secretary of Ukal M. Maniton and other spokesperson. Member of Ima Kalika Thaugalup Wabagai Mayingbam Ranjit told media that people are now lamenting the incompetence of the center and the state government in resolving the present crisis. He said if the government is unable to control the crisis, then it should hand over the responsibility to the masses. He then said the inability of the state force to fight the cookies has compelled mighty civilians to turn into village volunteers to protect the Maite villages. However, the state force arresting the village volunteers amid the crucial situation was unfortunate, he said. He also urged the authority to release the arrested village volunteers without any condition. <laughs> President of Thobal District Congress Committee and Lukoi has questioned the government of its welfare measures taken up in regard to the hardship faced by the people owing conflict. Speaking at the press meet, he also said the government must work for the welfare of its people and the people should not believe in the false front put up by the BJP. <laughs> Yam no wang na takes low rev. BJP in the government pipe get duck at the wang kikiava. Lire of Pajagi, put it out up. BJP government of Makutim Jalaga. Or a look over Makalamani and a quay. Congress party na. Hide the bunga mukre, whatever kang with the barot praja. Go to Hilesida, Angapo Panga, Laugiava, on a vinci mission. Aduga, sing the Jalaga, singi to be Arung Utsandra, Lok, Nemata, Hamra. Office hetra nokna go to hill na yam na focus to giya. Ado Manipur prajada prosar kaya thau na ba badu ento wo ne thau malaya na Congress party ko ne khanda vangam dia ba. Chaita ohinsa prem hai ba wakhalonda laisu don lai ba Congress party na nungai tapasi masiju na hu na na mu phongdo chari Manipur praja khanda na lai ba prajada masi ki message khangalu wa dina ko ne ngasi. ပြီးတဲ့ကိုယ်ဒီငယ်စီဒစ္တရစ်ကိုလေဗင်တာစီကိုမပူဒီပရဂျာနီချာရ်ကာဒီချာရ်ဘင်နီမိနိုင်နီ
The Lok Sabha today took up the Women's Reservation Bill for consideration and passing. The bill seeks to provide one-third reservation to women in the Lok Sabha and state assemblies. The legislation will be called Nari Shakti Bandan Adhiniya. Moving the bill, Union Law and Justice Minister Arjun Ram Meghwal said it is a step towards women empowerment and it will enhance their dignity by ensuring equality of opportunities. He said that the present government has taken several steps towards removing social and economic inequalities in the country by implementing several schemes ensuring equality for women. Initiating the discussion, Senior Congress Leader Sonia Gandhi said her party supports this legislation. She demanded that the Women's Reservation Bill should be implemented immediately with sub-quota of SCs, STs and OBCs by conducting cost-based census. The Congress leader also said any delay in, in implementing Women's Reservation Bill would be an injustice to Indian women. She also demanded that the government must work towards removing every obstacle in the effective implementation of this bill. Kani Mozi Kura Karunaridi of DMK also supported the bill. She said the Women's Reservation Bill is a poor promise to the BJP, yet many leaders had to urge them to bring this bill and pass it. She raised questions about the actual implementation of this bill. Rajib Rajib Ranjan Singh of JDU said provisions must be made to provide reservation to other backward classes under the Women Reservation Bill. He alleged that the government is opposing the cost base census. BJP MP Dr. Nishikant Dubey said the provisions of this bill will definitely be implemented. Countering the allegations of Congress Party, he said census and delimitation will be conducted and accordingly the reservation will be provided to the women. Several others also spoke on the bill and the discussion is underway. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman and Union Minister of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Narendra Singh Tomar will launch a series of transformative initiatives aimed at revolutionizing agriculture in the country in New Delhi today. The transformative initiatives include Kishan Rin Portal, Door to Door C KCC Campaign and Weather Information Network Data Systems Manual. According to the Minister of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, these initiatives aim to amplify financial inclusion, streamline data utilization, harness technology and enhance the livelihoods of the agricultural community. It added that this effort and innovations will help in furthering the goal of agricultural transformation and sustainable economic growth for farming community of the country. The Kishan Rin Portal KRP digital platform offers a comprehensive view of farmer data, loan disbursement specifics, interest su subvention claims, and efficient agriculture credit. The Ghar Ghar Kishan Credit Card Abhiyan campaign aims to achieve universal financial inclusion ensuring that every farmer has unhindered access to credit facilities. The Weather Information Network Data Systems Initiative is an instrumental innovation that leverages the advanced weather data analytics to provide stakeholders with actionable insights on weather. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has called for major reforms in global institutions including UN Security Council to be able to address modern challenges. In his inaugural speech of the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly debates, Guterres urged redesigning international financial architecture so that it becomes truly universal and serves as a global safety net for developing countries in trouble. He has also called for urgent action to combat climate change including providing resources to developing countries to establish green energy sources. He said that climate chaos is breaking new records, but the world cannot afford the same old broken record of scapegoating and waiting for others to move first. And before we wind our top stories once again. 48 hours general strike demanding unconditional release of five village volunteers enters its second day. Supporters seen blocking roads at many places. Normal life in state largely affected by general strike. Government offices, schools remain closed down.
Well, thank you so much for joining with us.